Sometimes, when we open the Windows Advanced option to fix a problem, the keyboard and mouse suddenly stop working. It can feel confusing and frustrating when nothing responds. But don't worry. In this video, I will guide you through a few simple and 100% working method to solve this issue step by step. So let's get started. The most common reason this happens is that wireless keyboard or Bluetooth devices often don't work in recovery mode. Because Windows hasn't loaded their drivers yet. A simple solution is to use the wired USB keyboard and mouse. Preferably if you are using an older laptop, try plugging your keyboard and mouse into USB 2.0 ports. For mid-range laptops, use USB 3.0 or 3.1 ports for better compatibility. And if you have a newer or high-end laptop, it's best to use Thunderbolt ports for the most reliable connection. Most of the time, this tip alone will restore functionality. Also, you can unplug any extra USB devices like printers, external drivers or dongles. This can interfere with detection. If the first method does not work, the next step is to check the BIOS settings. First, for shut down your PC. So press and hold the power button for 10 seconds. After that, turn it back on. And when you see the computer's logo, press the BIOS key. Usually delete F2 or escape depending on your system. Now enter your BIOS password and hit enter. In BIOS, find settings labeled legacy USB support or USB keyboard or mouse support. If you have the option to disable or enable USB ports, you can do that too. So go to the main tab. In my case, it's called XHCI support. XHCI support basically controls how your USB ports work. Enabling it ensures your keyboard and mouse are recognized even in advanced option or recovery mode. But in your case, the name may be different. Like USB configuration, USB keyboard or mouse support, EHCI handoff, legacy USB support, USB port control, etc. Enabling this ensures your keyboard and mouse are recognized even before Windows loads, which usually fixes the problem. Now press F10 to save the changes. Select yes and hit enter. And your PC will restart. Now go to the recovery mode. Now as you can see my mouse and keyboard are working perfectly. If the previous steps don't work, it's possible that your Windows recovery environment is corrupted. In that case, you will need to use a Windows installation bootable USB. Don't worry if you don't know how to make one, I have got a detailed step-by-step -step tutorial for that. So check it out before continuing. Once you are ready, boot your PC from the bootable USB. Select your USB drive and press enter. Now pick your language and click next. Then set your keyboard preferences and click next again. Now select repair my PC and click next. Choose your language one more time. And this will take you to the advanced option screen. Using the bootable USB often loads the proper drivers. And your keyboard and mouse should start working perfectly again. On some systems, fast boot or strict secure boot settings can prevent USB devices from initializing during startup. You may try temporarily disabling fast boot and if needed, disable secure boot just to test. After your devices start working, you can re-enable these settings. So first, go to Windows Search and type Edit Power Plan. Click on it. Now go to power options.
Now click on change settings that are currently unavailable. Now disable the turn on first startup. After that restart your PC and go to your BIOS. Now go to the boot option. Now disable the secure boot option. I am not disabling this because my devices are already working but you should. Now press F10 to save the changes. And that's it. Your mouse and keyboard should now be working in recovery mode again. And if the problem still isn't solved, don't worry, check out this tutorial on how to delete and create a recovery environment. It will definitely help you fix the issue. So that's it for today. If this tutorial helped you, then please give it a like, share and subscribe our channel for more tech tutorial and fixes. Your support really motivates me. Thank you. Thanks for watching.